Faulty scripts. Apparently it's not a scripter, right? <laughs> Who knows? Yeah, this is like a Master Zeal again. Do you want Masters? Those guys. You want TP Ignite this Camilla? It's kind of greedy for me to go Longsword Refill into a TP Camilla lane. TP Ignite lane, but... Fuck it. E4 funded. Don't ward it, please. Why are we warding it, man? He's just gonna get sweeper and uh and get level, and give his laner level two. Like I never understand why junglers ward like that. By the way, like you already see him on the map, you know he's gonna be there anyways. Like what's the point of putting a ward down? You're just giving them free gold and XP for no reason. Like it's one thing if they're not there, I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, when they're there, it's like it's really grief. It's nerfed to shut. Bro, I don't even think it was that like insane. Like every time I saw it, it's like. I mean, I don't think it did terrible, but I don't think it's also like. I've never seen it like 1v9. I don't know why it's getting nerfed. I guess probably because of low elo. Monster damage. I don't know. I, sp I feel like the champion's not that like insane in the jungle, but whatever. I'm gonna just try to get level two. It's fine. Like dismounting level one is actually fine. Level one two, because we can just walk up and then just get our remount back and also chunk her. Because she can't trade with me when I have my range right. It's actually worth it a lot of the time. So just dismount level one, as long as you're able to punish her. So I don't usually don't pop my pots when I'm dismounted. Or like when I mounted. DW, you're really insane, on. dude. You're insane. You're the Aegis here, bro. I'll use my other pot now, though. Because I want to try to start regening some of my dismounted health. And you're elastic. Thanks for the fall. I appreciate it. Welcome. Probably should have gotten my E and just eat that, but whatever. Uh, I can maybe die, bro. Sure she does. I'm waiting for my Q, and then I just all in her here. There's no flash, though, she's just dead. Ah, that blows. My wave's actually kind of fucked as well. I shouldn't have flashed. Bad flash by me. Because he has red buff and his CDs aren't that high, so he can usually like, just chase me. That's pretty bad. I, uh, my wave's in a really shit state. I kind of knew Wukong was coming, but it's fine. I mean, we have vibe advantage now. I don't even think Sojourn in general is like that insane of an item for Clud because you're already building so much haste with the like going ravenous and stuff, right? That like, you don't actually need the haste that much. You're already gonna get so much haste in your build. Like I don't think it's like a terrible item though. When you play Flash on Clud, I mean Flash is just one of the best summary spells you can take, right? But it allows you to play aggressive or defensive with it. Oh my god, I almost wanted to uh, turret. I mean, this guy's no TP, so this is really good for me. I can just kill her in a second if she walks up. Bro, I'm actually misclicking. It's fine though, I have a uh, Vamp Scepter. She's fucked. Her Wukong showed bot as well. I like bot side.
My ignite's almost up as well in 50. If she tries to stay, we just dive her. Probably ignite probably won't be up though for her, but. Fun. Yeah. We just start trimming the wave and then we dive. Wukong's still bought, so. I like bot side, so. Yeah, it's really free. I need to just get her auto. Perfect. Okay. Just get her to waste her passive shield and then we just kill her. And then we just crash this wave and the lane is completely over. Take. And Wukong's gonna clear his top side now, so I won't be in any threat for a, a bit because he's done, he's gonna go back to his bot side. By the time the uh, wave bounces back, or like we'll be in a position from the gank. So we're in a really, really good spot. I'm gonna slow push. She just missed like three waves. Ball breaker. I personally don't like it that much. I don't think it's that great. Like, you don't need it because you're already gonna be building defensive stats later on, anyways. And like with Hull, you're kind of forced to just stay side, but as Clyde, usually you're trying to just look for picks for your, with your team later on. And a lot of the top lane champions will just outscale you on the 1v1, even with Hullbreaker. So it's not like that insane of value. So I usually just play more for skirmishing. Good bomb plating there. Plus her uh, passive shield, so it wasn't that good. There's no shield here, so I can look. IQ almost actually didn't stay on her. Thankfully, it did. I almost fucked up the spacing. The mod IQ. But yeah, I'm just gonna keep bullying her. This is what you gotta do in these lanes, and why Longsword Start is also just really OP if you can get ahead with a. Cause now I'm just like almost at my uh, Rava right here. I seen a little bit of gold. The super snowball there. I see like one more wave and a plate. One more plate and a whip. She does have her uh, ult and ignite up, but I don't think it should matter. To be honest. Fuck, I wasted my ult. Don't try and understand them. Just rope, throw, and brand them. Waves just come to slow push, and I have my item now. GG. Well, game is over. I am Thanos. He might actually be on a red or a blue. I'm gonna go check. Glad, yeah. If you got ahead, you just take over. Obviously, if you're not ahead in a lane like this, like it's literally unplayable once she starts getting components. But if you can punish her like this early on, you're just, just chilling, especially with Ravenous. It's not there. Camille's just tilt roaming now. As long as my bot doesn't die to it, like the game's just free. I just take everything. An ally has been slain. An enemy has been Not the worst. Only one. It's a one for one. I mean, actually, it's probably two for one. Probably kill. Kind of blows that I, I mean, I maybe didn't have to flash, but I didn't want to stall too much time because maybe he could somehow outrun me. Probably not, though. I think it's actually not bad that I need a flash there. Okay, come down from here. We're up four levels. 
Croft, really. She wasted her passive shield again, so I just dive her. He should be fine on his own. I'm gonna actually walk bot here and try to help them. I don't know my ult though. I don't mind they're on reset. Let's go back to them. Yeah, they just confirming our suspicions, ain't they? Yeah, this is what you want to be doing. If you can get ahead early, you just want to just constantly pressure them into taking bad raids and you just one shot them. He's not okay. This is it's only just a snowball champion. If you can get a lead, you'll take over. As I mentioned, if the Camille played the lane how she's supposed to play it, the lane is actually not that good at all. It's actually a really bad matchup for Claude. She just needs to knock Reef pre uh, first back because once she gets her Shin, she needs to start out trading for free. But uh, she played it pretty poorly, so I just punished her. Took over. Uh, this is like a Masters MMR account. Playing a Masters Elo right now, like low Masters. I mean, in lower Elos for sure, I'd say he's really good because, yeah, people have no idea how he works. Once you get to the higher Elo brackets, it becomes harder, right? Because people will somewhat know how he works or know how he works because there's actually a couple of club mains in like GM Chow Elo. When I'm playing with my main, it's a lot harder to, uh, you know, get leads. But Ravenous Hydra is also just a really, really OP right item right now. They're nerfing it next patch, but the nerf they're doing isn't really going to make a difference, in my opinion. Like, they're just nerfing the Omnivamp by... Like, they're getting rid of the Omnivamp on the stacking, so you're losing 4% Omnivamp. But, like, it doesn't really make a difference, in my opinion. Take all the plates, man. Plates are gonna fall. You just got the full turret here. I know you wanted the wave, but might as well just take the whole turret. I'll let you take that wave. But yeah, we just want to get rid of the turret. Peace up. Get all the plates. We got all 15 plates as a team. Nice. Now I go back to up. We're gonna go into Prowlers now. Clean, clean game. Patch previews nowadays. I usually see them first on Twitter. I don't know if they've actually posted it, like, yet. On Twitter, but I, I saw like there's this one uh, Twitter account that usually like updates before, like once something gets changed on PBA, like even before they put the actual patch notes out, they'll like put, put a post about it. I can send you that after the game. I'll see if the actual patch notes are out though now by the rider, but yeah. Uh, Death Stance is a really good like third, fourth item. Same with Maw. Like, that's usually how I pop off my builds. I misplayed. Nice throw. No! 
Oh, I'm 100 gold off my item. Kind of blows. Ah, oh, I was getting a little longsword done. It's fun. I feel like Sterix is kind of a mat, like a bad item on Clyde at least, because he doesn't have that like high base idea. But I usually say just go DD Moss your last couple items. You can go Maul before DD if they have a lot of AP. But usually I'll go DD first. Like my my go-to build right now is usually just Ravnus and the Cleaver, and then my mythic third of either Prowler's Eclipse or Gore, and then um, I'll go DD and Maw as my fourth and fifth items. I miss. CW, you're insane, dude. You're insane. You're the ages, dude. I'm Anyway, I appreciate the follow. Thank you, King. Welcome. Ah, oh, shit. Are they good? Oh, they're fine. Okay. This land was made for me and me alone. What? What? Hello, turrets? Whatever. No, I'm I'll just take this uh, camp and then uh, I'll take the wave and go drugs. Spend my money. And yeah, we'll get DD next. I'll break it on the best. So, I mean. I don't think the build's like terrible to do something like that, but Ravenous Hydra is such a broken item right now that you should always just build it on Clud. The item just gives such insane stats. It's so snowball -y. Even if you want to go like a Bruce rebuild afterwards, this item is just so like overtuned. I'm gonna have to test it right when the patch drops, like next patch. But I'm pretty sure it's still gonna be like the best item you can build, because it's still gonna give you like 80 80 at max stacks, which is just insane. So. Yeah. Fuck, I almost griefed that actually. Ah, oh, just uh, actually, I have jump. I'll be okay. Nice, GG. Nice solid 1v9 game.
Red Star, hold on, you do 